How's it going guys? It's your boy Random Tall Guy. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Alright guys, we're gonna work on the Black XJ once again. Uh, today we're gonna change the clock spring on this car. Now the reason why I'm changing it is because the airbag lay is on and I keep losing my horn function. This is a perfect indication that the clock spring is going bad. And this job is really easy. You're just gonna need some common hand tools and you might need a steering wheel puller I'll let you know how to use that later. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. Now the reason why we need to disconnect the battery is because we're gonna remove the airbag and we definitely don't want to have that airbag explode in front of us. Um, so basically we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery. We're gonna give it about 20 minutes. Go ahead and turn on your accessory and stuff like that just to make sure that all the power in the car is drained and then we should be safe to remove the airbag. I'm gonna remove the airbag now. Uh, it's, it's just held up by two 5 sixteenths uh, bolts. We're gonna go ahead and remove it. All right, I went ahead and I removed both of the bolts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the airbag. It just comes out just like this. Perfect. And we can go ahead and just start disconnecting the cables. There's only two of them. One is the ground cable or the horn cable. And then the other one. There we go. Make sure, make sure you don't damage this. And then the other one is right here. All right, guys, I got the two wires out. The airbag is completely off. You can go ahead and put it to the side. Put it safely. You don't want to bang it. You don't want to toss it. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove this bolt here. Um, I'm just going to use an impact to make it easier. All right, it looks like it's a uh, 21 millimeter. I'm going to go ahead and just use the impact to get off. I might need an extension. All right, let's go ahead and remove it. I'm going to see if I can remove the steering wheel with my hand. If not, then we have to get a uh, steering wheel puller able to pull it by hand so I'm going to use this steering wheel puller basically you got two bolts that threads in and you're gonna go ahead and torque this down and then that should pull the steering wheel out so we're gonna go ahead and do that now all right guys we got the steering wheel off now we're gonna go ahead and remove the cover so we can have access to the clips that holds the clock spring in place All right, so here's the old clock spring that I just removed. If you take a look at it, I'm, I can continue spinning it, spinning it for mad long and it never wants to stop. That means that the uh, wire in here probably snapped, probably it got installed incorrectly or debris and stuff got in and it just ate up the wires. But this thing is completely shot. So this was definitely the cause of the airbag light and the horn not working. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up this, this axle right here a little bit. There's a bearing in here. Do you wanna make, you wanna go ahead and just clean it up a little bit to make sure that it's not scraping in a bunch of debris and dirt because it will make it go bad. Just give it a good clean. Now we can go ahead and install the new one. The new one has like this little lock mechanism here that keeps this from moving. There we go. We got this snap into place. Now we can go ahead and connect the two wires that I disconnected here. You have your airbag and then you have your accessory wire. Okay. Make sure the two wires click into place. And also what I recommend is check out the wires that are on the side here. That's for the uh, for the turn signals. Make sure all the cables here are fully connected because apparently for XJ they are known for getting loose and causing you to lose your turn signal functions. So make sure that all the cables in here are pushed all the way. And then we can go ahead and start and then we can go ahead and start installing everything back. Alright. So I double check all the cables. Now we're ready to put the steering wheel back. But before we do that, we can go ahead and remove 
um, this locking pin here so we can get so we can get the uh, clock spring to be free I I went ahead and marked it where a sharpie here aligned just in case if I forget uh, just in case if it moves and I need to know where it goes back uh, if you look down here it's hard to see uh, there's splines everywhere here but there's a little notch here and there's a little notch in the bottom here and uh, same thing with the um, same way right here there's a little notch in the bottom a little a little notch on the top that's how you know you're putting the steering wheel correctly straight in is that there's only one way to put the steering wheel in if you put it any other way it's not gonna go all the way in so that just to keep you know just, just to give you that tip but i personally went ahead and i just marked both the steering wheel and the bolt uh with a sharpie so i know that it's perfectly straight but in case if you guys are wondering you can't really mess this up because there's a little notch here and a little notch here that basically were aligned with the steering wheel. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put it back together. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, steering wheel back. Uh, we're gonna first snake the two wires through the steering wheel first. Make sure, keep an eye on the uh, clock spring, make sure it's not gonna rotate on you. Uh, Cause you wanna make sure everything is gonna go back exactly how we took it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and just match match the um, splines together and push down on it all right so i got everything back together i'm gonna go ahead and torque down the nut make sure that you apply some uh, medium thread locker onto the nub just because you want to make sure it stays in place and we're going to go ahead and torque it down now we're going to torque this one down to 40 foot pounds so i got my torque wrench here Okay, so we got it torqued down to 40 foot pounds. Now we can go ahead and reconnect the airbag. Airbag's right here. It's nice, simple. Uh, the yellow cable, of course, goes in the middle. And you want to put it exactly how you took it out. It should click into place. Make sure it clicks into place. And then we got the ground wire. Ground wire has a little sleeve. Make sure that you clip it. And then make sure to put the sleeve back. And it connects to this little red wire right here to, to be tucked in snuggled put the sleeve back put the protective sleeve back on to prevent any moisture or water or debris to get in basically done now we'll go ahead and seat it it only goes one way so you can't really get this part wrong like this now we can go ahead and before we put the bolts back go ahead and put the back cover back into place and put the uh, three fillet screws back on all right and we're basically done now we're gonna go ahead and put the battery back on start her up uh, and see if we fix the uh, airbag light issue all right there's the airbag and it's gone perfect now uh, now we can go ahead and test the horn and it works so that means definitely the clock spring was the issue and look it's gone now looks like the airbag light and the horn is working what i recommend is to go ahead and start up your car turn the steering wheel all the way to the left all the way to the right and make sure that everything is working correctly um so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now turn all the way to the left press the horn all the way to the right press the horn perfect all right, by doing that, you make sure that the clock spring is sitting correctly and everything's working. So we should be all set now.
If you like the video guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And as always guys, if you have any comments or if you have any ideas um, that you want me to try, let me know down in the comments below. All right guys, have a good one. Bye-bye.